Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you unboxing and first look of a uh, new automatic knife that I uh, just got in and uh, as far as I know this should be a premiere of uh, this design. It is the AKC World curved stiletto in black marble. So as you can see it comes in a just a OEM uh, box without any uh, leathering and uh, you will get a, a nylon pouch for your belt but i will not carry that <laughs> knife in that pouch and uh, here it is so a really really nice and uh, unique piece in my opinion and uh, and i was wondering that uh, nobody uh, thought about uh, this design in the past so let me give you the, the specification. So if you're wondering, uh, want to know some kind of how to find it. So uh, grindworks.com uh, should be the, the USA uh, dealer for these knives. Uh, and they have it under the name GX-41027. If you are from Europe, then check out the knife uh, shop.com. And uh, the number is uh, AKK-1, but uh, I don't know how long they will last. So the model name is Curved uh, Stiletto. Okay, so overall length we have uh, 28 centimeter, that is 10.9 inches. The blade is 12 centimeters or 4.8 inches. Uh, the blade uh, thickness is 2.5 millimeter 0.1 inch the handle is 15.5 centimeter 6.1 inch and the thickness is 1.9 centimeter 0.7 inches as far as construction goes uh, for the blade they are using some kind of unknown steel my best guess is this is something like uh, 440 or uh, maybe a 8CR 30MOE definitely has a really nice uh, polish so my best guess will be something like uh, like the 440 family we have a nice polished uh, Warncliffe sorry Hogbill uh, blade shape on the handle we have uh, stainless steel liners stainless steel bolsters and a uh, imitation of something like horn so it, it's called black marble ball but it is plastic we have a uh, pin construction with uh, brass pins as far as construction goes uh, we have a spring that is mounted inside uh, that pocket right there uh, definitely nothing so sophisticated like the traditional um, Italian stilettos in which they uh, the the spring so the leaf spring is composed uh, in one piece of uh, the uh, the back part and it will go underneath right there so we have also a safety and it closes like a traditional stiletto with the bolster so here is the locking mechanism. Centering is a little bit off. What I would expect for my Chinese made knife. As far as weight goes, we have 157.7 grams or 5.5 ounces. There are few variants that are available with this one. There is a white uh, pearlplex version, a, a imitation ivory, and then this black marble one. This knife comes in two uh, finishes. So one is with the bolster, and one is uh, a complete uh, with the synthetic uh, scale. So, like imagine this would uh, continue like this. We have a partial swedge on the top. 
Let me show the sharpness out of the box. So this is definitely decently sharp. Okay, as far as comparisons go, uh, I have here my Beltrane made in Italy, my large stiletto, uh, and as you can see there, uh, similarly sized, but the AKC oh, is a little bit larger. And as far as the spring, uh, what I was talking about, here you can see a nice crafted uh, leaf spring that goes here under. It's part of the uh, backspacer and then it's go around. And it's part of the locking mechanism itself. And of course, uh, this is a, a superiorly made, uh, made knife. But Okay, as far as pricing goes, uh, that is a little bit interesting. So the, the MSRP, they are putting this at 199, uh, which is definitely uh, completely out of the price point, how much you should pay for this kind of knife. The, uh, the Grindworks has it uh, for $99 and the knife shop uh, has it for 69 euros. So if you can get this one either from uh, your uh, favorite uh, dealer uh, for around, uh, let's say, $70, that would be the, uh, the, the sweet spot price for uh, such a knife like this. And hopefully in the future, maybe also some Italian brands uh, will jump on the bandwagon and <laughs> make something uh, really uh, new, maybe a scimitar, style uh, variant will be also nice in which this part here is sharpened okay as far as size comparisons go oh uh, i have a couple of knives here my table while everything will be probably smaller here is my protec uh, tr 4.1 tactical rescue My Worker Plus AK101 2.0. And let's do some classic knives like the Red One. Let's see. Here is a full size Cryptilian from Benchmade. Paramilitary 2 Spider Co. Endura Benchmade Bug Out nine forty from Benchmade. Kaiser Big Lighter 2, Rough Rider Peanut, and let's close it down with the K by Dosh Falling Hunter. So, as you can see for yourself, this is a beast of a knife. A little bit impractical, in my opinion, but uh, a really definitely nice, uh, let's say, uh, display piece. Maybe if you are displaying some knives at your desk, or maybe you, you are, if you have it on your cabinet and so on. So yes, definitely a nice addition to the automatic collection. Maybe, uh, who knows, they will also make a, a smaller, more compact a knife that will be a little bit more practical to carry. But it is up to the AKC. Uh, marketing department which uh, route they would like to go uh, if you like to check them out AKC does make uh, traditional Italian styled uh, knives uh, from China so uh, 
first one for me but yeah definitely nice we have a really nice sturdy construction so no blade play whatsoever we have AKC world logo right there yeah and nothing else okay so this was the first look and unboxing of the AKC world curve curved stiletto stiletto uh, black marble version if you have any questions please leave a comment down below i'm more than happy to reply as soon as i can of course if you are subscribing thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if you are not subscribed then please uh, consider subscribing to not miss any future videos with that being said wish you a wonderful day hope to see you soon bye